you know, uh, the matching tattoos really, really got me. That was one that really hurt. How are you feeling, Ryan? How are you doing right now? I'm all right. You know, I'm processing. Uh, it's one of those where I'm, you know, right now I'm still in like reflection mode about everything that's happened. And, you know, watching the first episode is kind of like, well, I should have done this or I should have done that. But but now it's it's overwhelming. It's, it's very yeah. overwhelming. You know my story. Now let's see what I do with my life. Gypsy Rose, Life After Lockup. I know it airs on Monday. We're looking forward to seeing more behind the scenes with that. Do you have any regrets from what was filmed? You know, before Gypsy got out of prison, I was worried about her emotional ability with the filming and press and did I expect it to get 9 million followers overnight? No, I didn't expect that. You know, that was difficult. And so my main concern was Gypsy before she got released. So I didn't realize the filming would impact us so much as it has. You know, it, it created a lot of change. 9 million followers overnight. Overnight. <laughs> Life changed like that. Gypsy's story is so unique because it's never really been done. Like, you know, you think about it, somebody who had that crime gets released and then is filmed. Like, it's so new and, you know, we're learning as we go. It's not the situation it was from pre-release to post-release. How has she changed in a way? Is the, is the fame got to her? I think some things get to her emotionally, you know, like certain comments, things like that. I remember at one point, you know, it, when things turned negative, it did bring her down. You know, me being her husband, I just tried to be there for her. I want to know what really led to you and Gypsy's separation. Personally, I think outside influences got involved. You know, I'd go to work and then her mind would run rampant. And it's just one of those things where, you know, when I say I'm blindsided, really I'm blindsided about how fast things occur. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's like a snowball that I haven't been able to stop it. There's a lot to process, you know, like, it's weird watching yourself on TV. It's, you know, I wasn't, I'm not used to that. It's just new. How do you feel about Gypsy reuniting with her ex, Ken Urker? How, how do you think I feel on that? How would you feel? No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, it, it was, it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch in, unfold in the public eye like that. You know, there were certain things that happened that really, really got me. And it really, really affected me. The matching tattoos really, really got me. That was one that really hurt. Why did that matching tattoo really hurt so bad? Because it's permanent. It's one of those things that you always look down and see. You know, it's one of those things that you just can't erase. We're still married. You know, it's one of those where we're still married, and but we're going through this divorce, and it's it was just hard, hard to see, hard to see. I know in April you actually posted on TikTok thanking a bunch of fans for their support. What messages and comments are people sending you now? I still get a lot of support. Like it, it's mostly 98% positive compared to like 2% negative, but it, it's it's amazing to see the, the love and support I get. I'm just being myself, you know, I'm just a genuine person. I fell in love with Gypsy. That's, that's the only thing about me. You know, I'm just a normal guy. That's beautiful. Well, you know, I gotta be nosy for a minute, Ryan, because I'm sure there's some women that might be interested. <laughs> I definitely have a lot. Definitely have a lot of DMs from women. Like it's it's mostly women. Yeah, it's it's new to have that many women on you. Um, it's nice to see. You know, it does boost your ego. You know, but it's one of those where honestly, I just wanted the attention of one woman. Actually, like in, originally, so to get all these other attention, it's it's different. Do you still have that longing for the interest of that one woman, Gypsy? Me and Gypsy, love was never our problem. Like we still have love for each other. That's not. It's not an issue, you know, it's, there's other things at play that kind of affected our marriage. So like love has never been an issue or how we feel about each other, it's never changed. If she ever had a change of heart, would you ever consider reuniting with Gypsy? It's a hard question. It's a hard question because my pride and things that have happened, you know, you normally would say like, no, like, no, you did this to me and that's it, you know? But you got to realize that's my wife and she's learning and, you know, like, yes, we are getting a divorce. Things would have to change. You know, I, I, I don't know. It's a hard question, Francesca. That's a very hard question. You got to realize it's only been two months since she's gone. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, she might have moved on quickly, you know, from what it seems. So, but like, I'm still processing, you know, I, I married her wanting the forever, you know, so it's one of those where that was my intent. So... You know, I felt like I found my person. I haven't seen her since 
we had a disagreement and it's like we're we're divorced you know mm -hmm. so it's, that's hard for me to process is i haven't seen her when are you getting back out there i know everything's fresh but <laughs> i'm pushing it when are you getting back out there and dating uh maybe when the right person comes along and what are you looking for if you when you start you know gypsy grabbed me with just her personality and i love her laugh so maybe somebody make me laugh like she did <laughs>